Carol and Selma. Great to see you. How was it in there? How, how would you rate your performance? Were you happy? Uh, to say I wasn't happy would be hugely ungrateful because, you know, we all know what happened last year to me. And after that, I came back with two, two wins against two good, good opponents. And now I'm back on Cobblebox Arena. So I'm just grateful for Queensbury, grateful for manager Frank, grateful for um, Frank for giving me the opportunity for, you know, to, to coming up here and, and boxing again and, you know, showing that I, I do belong here. Was that a great performance? No, but no, no, well, no, well, no performance uh, you've been, is great. You've been very hard on yourself there. Like you can, he's an undefeated fighter and you won every single round. The only round that he even had, a, he, he had a big go in that last round. Yeah, right? yeah, he yeah. was trying to first off and then you controlled it again straight after. Yeah. When you were bringing that jab to the body, you can completely control it. Yeah. Well, I think the first half of the fight, you were jabbing to the body, then all of a sudden you stopped, but then you started bringing it back again. And I think it was around five or six, you really completely took over. Yeah. I, thought, I thought you boxed very good, mate. No, I really appreciate it. You've been asking yourself, man. It's the more I get into here, the more, I, the more I go through this, the better I get and the more experience I get. So, yeah, like I said, I'm grateful to be here. Thank you to Francis, thank you to Frank, thank you to George, and all the Princeton stuff for, for, you know, giving me those opportunities. I'm going to grab them, all of them. Could you hear Moses? If, uh, Moses yeah. was, was shouting out. Could you hear Nathan as well? He was at it as well. I couldn't hear Nathan, but um, I am my, my brother. I am my brother, for sure. You're always shouting out to him. You kind of have, have this bond whenever you're fighting the other ones. You're shouting in Slovakian, aren't you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, we do. We do shout in Slovakian. I guess that's our little, li little trick. What's the plan this year, then? That's a great start to the year. Hey, it's a better start than you had last year, right? Yeah. You've started this year off with a win. How do you see this year playing out for Karol Itelma? Active, active, active. Um, that's what me and my manager Francis said, and that's what we're looking to get, active experience, learning. Because it's one thing getting there, and another thing staying there. And I don't, want, I don't want to just get there. I want to get there and stay there. And so I'm going to take all the time I need. You're your own biggest critic as well. I, I feel like you're going to be going back meticulously sort of studying this fight, everything that you did wrong. We feel like it was pretty good performance, especially Nathan Heaney. He was, he was really raving about you here tonight. Thank you, Nathan. Uh, really mate, uh, you're, the pedigree you've got as an amateur as well, it's that distance and the range. That's what would have made you a top GB amateur. So just keep doing what you're doing. Now, and uh, off. I really appreciate those comments. Um, the thing is, amateurs is one thing and a pro is a completely different thing. Like, uh, uh, it's, uh, yeah, you, 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 you can get the fundamentals, yeah. but a pro is completely different. And even though I, I got those levels as an amateur, in a pro, I'm gonna develop and I'm gonna I'm, I'm gonna build into it. Like I'm already getting bigger, I'm already getting stronger, and um, I need to mature and, and learn my graft. Okay, congratulations, Carol. Enjoy the win. Yeah, you got this this year off to a great start. So congratulations. Thank you, Dev. Thank you, Heaney. Yeah, Have so a great night. Cheers, cheers,